Dear Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Ravi and this is your weekly tarot reading. This is a timeless reading, so anytime you watch this video, this is for the following seven days for you. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot. So with that, let's get going. It seems like you're going through a, a, a little, um, well, it seems like this week is going to be a little bit more, more challenging for you. So there is a five of uh, ones in here. So this is competition, challenges, you know, like, um, 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 yes, competition, Com dealing with things, dealing with people, dealing with situation, trying to make the best um, out of, um, of, of the, the situation you are in right now. There are a lot of people you have to deal with, a lot of things you have to uh, get across while they are not not easy to get, <clears throat> not, sorry, not easy to get them done. Okay, so you might be thinking of good times and good memories when, when uh, everything was better, everything was easier, and now you have to deal with things, you have to, you have to create um, a new memories. So now we are, you, you creating a new um, environment you see this is this is uh, this is a house with uh, with the, with the cups so um, this is a new home okay and then you have to like this lady gives a, a flower to this little girl so this is a new home you have to create you have to make it a home you have to create any environment you are in now you have to make it more homey you have to make it a, a better place for yourself for your family, for your friends. So uh, this this week, perhaps for you, it's more about your your immediate environment. Okay. So you made a decision. You already decided to to move or to change or decorate or or anything. Just buy plants and 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 pictures. Just just make it more more. Um, uh, suitable for your needs and this if you do it right it's gonna be great so it's going to be it's going to be the, the the best place you can live and the best place that serves you in every um, every every level okay so you might be feeling that you already left an old station you haven't arrived to the next uh, place but the chariot here talks about victory i actually have here two cards that talks about victory the the six of wands as well so you have you decided to move okay so this person here in the chariot is equipped and uh, armored with every single knowledge what he needs to know he exactly um, um Underst he understands the universe. You have the moon, the stars, the, the, the sun, everything on this image. He knows everything and decided to leave the old and go towards the new. However, he's not doing it uh, in a physical level. He's doing it with his thoughts. Okay, so he's like he's flying, he's, he's disappearing from here and appearing in another place. It doesn't have to be fast. These swings uh, like um, um, creatures and in the below they are not um, horses he doesn't have to run he's not have he doesn't have to go on this chariot he just think of a new place a new position a new idea a new something and disappears and just appears okay so your challenge here now for this this week is how to make the distinction between black and white so things that you like things that you don't dislike things that serves you things that no longer serves you and find a way and differentiate between all those things and make sure that um, that everything that you want in your life and serves you in your life you keep it nurture it grow it and everything that is no longer serving you everything that you no longer want in your life 
you cut them out and you leave them. So this is how you can, you can uh, appear in, in a new place, not by running, not by rushing. It's just, I think about this place, I'm going to manifest. And he's got the wand, that um, the magic wand in his hand. So he waves his wand and then he appears anywhere he wanted to be. So don't, don't um, feel like you are leaving something behind. You don't, you don't feel like people, um, people don't understand that you have your own needs and you have to, you have to uh, move when you like. And maybe some people won't be too happy because you are going to the next level in your life. That's possible, but it's not your problem. So you are not making anybody short by um, focusing on your own life. You decided that that's what you want. You want to take take uh, what you got, um, but do it with um, with respect. Okay. So leave everything behind and everybody everybody behind. It's not a problem. It's gonna be you know take some time while you adjust and uh, and move to the uh, calmer shore. But that's basically it's within you it's not it's not outside people are going to forget you people are going to uh, move on with their life so they don't maybe they don't really care uh, after a certain point so it's it's all in your subconscious thinking that well i have to move on to somewhere better and you know i have to leave some people behind and experiences and disappointments and, and fear and and etc etc so but this is your life you have to you have to keep moving um there is somebody in your head as well so we have here the the page of cups this normally the card comes up when there is a romantic romantic partner involved in here and if everything was great and, and everything was good and now you find yourself alone well i would suggest that focus on the positive focus on what you have what you still got okay so if there is something that was disappointing uh, and now you have to move on and you have to carry carry on regardless of what happened, then you have still things that you can have. And if your attention is on focusing on, on the, the spilled uh, energy and the spilled drink, you are not able to see that there is a bridge that you can go to the other side and everybody wants to go to the house because the house is there is the is where you want to be but you can't see that because you're so busy uh focusing on what you have lost that you can't see the bridge okay so in that case the bridge is behind you so look back uh, and 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 cross that bridge cross that bridge from old to new cross that bridge between disappointment and now happiness comes your way so moving forward it's it's not really uh, always an option as such sometime looking back and learning from the situation and then moving forward and go around um, that old situation is the solution otherwise you can only see uh, like like in here um, the river in front of you can't cross that river just going through the water okay because this is a this is a flood like the flood of emotions the river of emotion you can't just you can't cross it you can go around and through the bridge and you get where you want to be but if you only see the the little spilled drinks and then the flood of emotion what's in front of you it's not it's not going to make things easy okay so there is a new um uh, opportunity that comes so now you have to start thinking about like okay how am i going to get it um on with my life what I'm going to do maybe I need to learn something now it's time to to put your time energy talent um, uh, money uh, interest um, everything you have in a physical level time to invest in something new to put it in something new something that you want to develop something you you want to create with a page of um, Pentacles here is is a page Okay, it's a it's a um, uh, apprentice. It's something that he he wants to learn something, something new. He wants to invest his his talent. He wants to put it in something so he can grow. And the field is ready to put the seeds in. Now it's time to do it so next year you can have a harvest. It's no longer enough 
looking at the, the world and saying like, I wish I could make that decision or I would choose that or I would be happy to go there and do it. No, now it's time to see the world um, in its totality and be part of it. Not just looking at the map and looking at the ideas that other people is doing. No, make a decision. Make a choice consciously that I want to have this, I want to do this, I want to get there. And world, when I talked about the world, look at the globe. And the next card is the world. The world opens up the opportunity for you to go larger, go bigger scale, go travel. You have a new cycle right in front of you. You can go anywhere you like, okay? And you can start this journey and it, it can last for your next 20 years. So don't think about things as, uh, this is just now. Now you can make a decision how you're gonna live your life in the following 20 years or 30 years or the next three uh, lifetimes. Why not? So now it's time to make that decision. Who you want in your life, what you want in your life, how you want that to happen in your life, um, and when you want to happen in when you want that to happen in your life. And like it's getting crazy now, and you have the magician here, right? You are able to manifest whatever you want in your life. So right now you feel the power, you feel how that can happen. You made one things happen, you can make again something else happen. In the physical, mental, spiritual, emotional level, all of them can be in balance and you choose what exactly you want. Okay? These are huge, these are huge cards. All of them, all of them talks about manifestation. All of them talks about a new happiness, a new beginning, a new start, a, a, a brand new... Uh, phase of life this is this is just just great like uh, the, the only thing that can hold you back if you focus on uh, well I'm not too happy about this or I'm not too happy about that like well who cares if you have all the other things going for you right so like yeah this is the only thing that can keep you keep you um, at your at your place that you are not moving forward because something was disappointing something didn't work out the way you wanted it's not an option or it shouldn't be an option because you have the magician you have the world and you have the chariot all of them are brand new options brand new uh, um, situation coming your way don't wait make things happen make the calls make the make the opportunities there are a lot of good cards coming uh, in, in the future for you. Be creative. Be, make, make sure that everything you do is like, so you might have to be juggle a little bit with your talent, with your, with your uh, uh, even with your money as well. But this is growth, okay? You are growing, you are not going down. You are learning, you are discovering, you are creating. Keep going. This is this is this is the whole thing about. And what's gonna be? And you're gonna be celebrated. You're gonna be victorious. Okay, but you can't stop. Okay, so the only negative things can be is is that um, that you you focus on things you have lost lost. Don't don't look at those things because they are not important. If not, if everything is going well for you, why would you focus on something that it didn't go well for you? Um, because there's always things that don't go perfectly. This is what it is. Maybe you had a disappointment, somebody you find like a romantic interest and then that didn't work out for you or you had a job, you thought that this is the way forward and you discovered, mm, well, it's not, uh, it's not for me or um, uh, it could be any, any scenario, any, any possibilities, uh, but don't for, move on, move on from there and you don't need to worry about uh, that. Right. Okay. So let me take a couple of cards from the Sacred Destiny Oracle for you. First one is going forward. Isn't it what we were talking about? Potential. Back to where we, where we, where we were. You have to do the things because there are lots of potential in here, but you can only make them manifest. You can only manifest them if you're actually going for it. Right? And the last one is solitude. Well, maybe now it's time to think about yourself a little bit uh, withdraw yourself from the world and just like see who you are what you are what you want in your in in your life and 
purposely uh, work towards that. So you know what? This is what I want. I'm going this way. This is this way I don't want. I'm gonna take it out from my life and not letting um, the situation dictate where um, where you should be or what you are able to uh, manifest. Okay. So let's see what the numerology cards are saying here for you. So karmic completion. So the world cards is, is very similar. So you have created something. You have been going through a cycle. So you see the rounding. This is a cycle. And that is completed. Whoever helped you on that cycle, <clears throat> fine. Um, whatever you had to do, it's fine. It has been completed. So now a, a part of your journey is done. And it's not just for this life, it's a karmic completion. So you have to do this, right? So uh, now move on to the next one, which is love partnership. This love and partnership is, uh, it can be two things, right? One is your self-love and the way you uh, relate to yourself. So that might need attention. If not, then... There was somebody else for you or there is somebody else for you who like romantically related to you you need to sort that out okay because there is a love and partnership here as a message and then pride well be proud of what you are be proud of what you have achieved be proud who you become because this is the best you can be and this is the best you should be always thinking about high regards uh, when it comes to yourself you should not um, feel uh, bad about things or especially external things. So when it comes to you and your own personality and the way you dealt with everything in this life, the only thing is to feel proud of yourself. Right. So let's see what the romantic oracles are saying for you here. Keep an open mind. This could be the one. Well, and finally express your love so there is somebody again the other cards are saying so this could be the one maybe you just met someone who you are uh, interested in and you just have to express your love so if you had disappointments you had issues you have things in the past that didn't work the way you wanted them maybe now you have an option with this new person or with an old person um re rediscovering uh, everything you can be you can be married and you know now comes um, a, a situation in your life where you just rediscovered well this is the person um, I was right choosing because I want to live my life with that person and you put your your uh, relationship your marriage your connection into the next level okay so with that dear uh, Leo I thank you for watching this video and I wish you have a good, I wish you a really good week. Thank you.